welcome back to my channel so the recipe today is gonna be garlic butter ribeye steaks as you can tell here um, first I'm gonna show you all the ingredients that I'm gonna use today uh, we got some liquid smoke uh, because I use a gas grill so I have to try to improvise for that taste uh, garlic powder onion powder Worcestershire sauce <laughs> however you say it um, a little of this Japanese barbecue sauce that I found online, which is really good. Of course, the sasun has to be there and some seasoning salt. So what I like to do is dry my steaks off after I rinse them. Yes, rinse your steaks. Do not, oh, please do not season an unrinsed steak because you don't know where it's been. Anyway, so I like to uh, blot it dry so everything will stick to it. After I do that, then I'm gonna go ahead and season both sides with all the seasonings that I showed you at the beginning of the video. Okay, so at this point, you can uh, throw your steaks on the grill. Make sure it's really hot before you put the meat on. Um, I like to get a nice char on each side, and then eventually I turn the uh, flames down and just allow it to cook through. Um, but yeah, so however long you want to cook your steaks, that's how long you cook it. I'm more of a medium well type of person, so uh, the timing is going to vary based off how you like your meat but that's how I do mine and then these little uh, butter uh, whatever you want to call them little circles of butter the grocery store here the Safeway actually provides you with those um, your local um, meat department probably also has something like this which is really cool you can just throw them at the top 
uh, towards the end of the cooking process and let everything kind of melt and get delicious and that's what I do it's um, I'm pretty sure it's butter parsley garlic I think I tasted a hint of Parmesan in them so uh, just ask and maybe they have something that um, fits your palate and then what I like to do after this is I take the meat off place it in some foil and then I'm going to cover it up um, not super tight just somewhat tight somewhat secure so that uh, the meat can just rest and all the juices can kind of do its thing so after that um, I'll just unfold it and we'll see what we got after everything's finished doing what it does All right, so I've taken the foil off, as you can tell, and this is what we got after everything has settled. The meat looks super tender and it's very juicy. Nothing dry here. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So like, comment, and subscribe and follow for more recipes later. Thank you. Peace.